Good morning. Do we have to separate from wickedness? Today we're at Jeremiah 15, verses 19 to 21. Therefore, thus says the Lord, if you return, then I will bring you back. You shall stand before me. If you take out the precious from the vile, you shall stand as my mouth. Let them return to you, but you must not return to them. And I will make you to this people a fortified bronze wall, and they will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you to save you and deliver you, says the Lord. I will deliver you from the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem you from the grip of the terrible. So the answer is, yes, we must separate from wickedness. Jeremiah, although he's prophesying to God's people, there's a sense in which he really must remain separate from them and their departure from God. God has a warning for his prophet. Let them return to you, but you must not return to them. You can't go backwards. You can't, to come close to them, to try to bring them along to you, you can't go back into the pit. You can't go back into the, the wickedness that's going on there. The precious has to be separated from the vile. Now, the remainder of this section that we've just read is, a lot of it's about conflict. And there's a lot of conflict here. But God is promising Jeremiah, who's right there at the heart, at the center of the conflict, he's promising him, I will make you like a fortress. Don't, they're going to fight against you. They're going to want to lay their hands on you. They're going to torture you, do physical violence to you. I am with you. If they're doing it to you, they're doing it to me. So hang in there. You know, that's, that's I think, part of the message here. I will make you to this people a fortified bronze wall. You're going to be impenetrable because I, God, am with you, Jeremiah. It's strange, isn't it? Where are these wicked people coming from? I thought that this was God's people. But from their midst, rising up from their midst, are forever, you know, it seems as though it's, there's always somebody coming up. The, devil, he, the devils find some kind of a foothold. They find something that they can use as leverage. And they use that to get somebody to behave in a selfish way. Along comes God sends one of his servants, like Jeremiah. He comes and tells it like it is. And boom, there's war because they are going to rise up against it. What is it that causes a shaking, you know, amid, amid the people of God? It's always that when somebody comes preaching a straight line, somebody that comes and is, is faithfully delivering God's message, that's always what causes a shaking among God's people. It was that way before Jeremiah. It was that way during Jeremiah's time. And it's that way in our time. But is anybody preaching a message that can, can shake God's people out of their lethargy? Is there anybody preaching a message today that they can deliver people from their, their supine submission to culture? I mean, it seems, seems impossible, but let's not worry. God is on his throne. He will use people. He will help us so that the precious and the vile are separated. But our part, we need to cooperate with him. And a lot of Christianity today isn't saying very much about cooperation. But if we go back to the Bible, if we keep reading it out of here, what are we going to find? And page after page, cooperation, cooperation. And the story of, of Jeremiah is one of a man, a man of God, who was willing to cooperate with God. And the result is going to be he's going to faithfully deliver his messages. He's going to faithfully warn God's people, whether they will hear or forbear. So our part, be faithful. God will take care of the rest. We might wind up at the bottom of a well, but that's still coming. But Let's be faithful anyway, and God will, God will sort it out. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, the world needs faithful leaders right now to strengthen each one of us. Then we can be faithful people on your team. Lord, use us. Uh, help us to be right. The devils are looking for leverage. They're looking for pieces, things that we have not submitted to Jesus. Help us, Lord, not to have anything like that. And when it's discovered, Lord, help us to give it up to you completely. And so in return, as we give you our terrible things, you're going to give us good things, blessings and helps and strength from above to keep us right in the hard times. Help us to be part of the solution, not of the problem. And so use us as your servants, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, we need to separate from wickedness. And God will make us, however, his fortress in the midst of these times. God be with you today. Go out there strengthened in this day for Jesus.